Welcome back to my channel for another video. Okay, so today's video is going to be the history of tea. Okay, so history of tea is long and complex, spreading across multiple cultures over the span of thousands of years. Tea likely originated in southwest China during the Shang Dynasty as a medicinal drink. An early record of tea Drinking dates to the 3rd century A.D. and a med medical text written by Hua Tuo. I'm butchering that name. Tea was first introduced to Portuguese priests and merchants in China during the 16th century. Drinking tea became popular in Britain during the 17th century. British introduced tea production as well as tea consumption to India in order to compete with the China, China monopoly on tea. All right. Don't want to. There's a freaking lot here. Oh my god. Okay. Origin myths. Okay. The legendary emperor of China and inventor of agri agriculture and Chinese medicine was Shenog. I'm once again probably butchering that name. Uh, was drinking a bowl of just boiled water due to a decree that his subjects must boil water before drinking it. Sometime around 2737 BC, when a few leaves were blown from a nearby tree into his water, changing the color, the emperor took a sip of the brew and was pleasantly surprised by its flavor and restorative properties. A variant of the legend tells that the emperor tasted the medical property, attested the medical properties of various herbs on himself, some of them poisonous, and found tea to work as an antidote. <clears throat> he also mentioned in Liu Yu's famous early work on the subject, the classic of tea, a similar Chinese legend goes that the god of agriculture would chew the leaves, stems, and roots of various plants to discover medicinal herbs. If he consumed a poisonous plant, he would chew tea leaves to counteract the poison. A rather gruesome legend dates back to the Tang Dynasty. Uh, in the legend, Bodhidharma, <laughs> the founder of Chan Buddhism, accidentally fell asleep after meditating in front of a wall for nine years. He woke up in such disgust at his weakness that he cut off his own eyelids. They fell to the ground and took root, growing into tea bushes. Sometimes another version of the story is told with uh, Buddha in place of the other guy. <laughs> Scholars, uh, all right, China. The Chinese have consumed tea for thousands of years. The earliest physical evidence known to date, found in 2016, comes from mausoleum of Emperor Jing of Han, uh, indicating that tea was drank by Han Dynasty emperors as early as the second century BC. The examples were identified as tea from Camellia, particularly via mass spectrometry, and written records suggest that it may have been drunk earlier. People of the Han Dynasty used tea as medicine. Although the first use of tea as a stimulant is un unknown, China is considered to have the earliest records of tea consumption, with possible records dating back to the 10th century BC. Note, however, that the current word for tea in Chinese only came to use in the 18th century AD. There are, therefore, uncertainties as to whether the older mm. words, if used, are the same as tea. Okay. We're just going to move on from China, because they have a lot of freaking stuff. All right. Really? Really? Quit that. Ugh. All right. In Hong Kong, apart from Yumcha culture of southern China, a localized version of English tea was developed, the Hong Kong-style milk tea. In Japan, tea use spread to... Uh, Tea use spread to Japan about the 6th century AD. The tea became a drink of religious classes in Japan when Chinese priests and envoys sent to China to learn about its culture brought tea to Japan. Ancient recordings indicate the first batch of tea seeds were brought by a priest named Sa Saicho. 
and let's see, in 805, and uh, then by another Kukai in 806. It became a drink of the royal classes when Emperor Saga of the Japanese Emperor encouraged the growth of tea plants. Seeds were imported from China, and cultivation in Japan began. In 1191, the famous Zen priest um, brought back seeds, brought back tea seeds to Kyoto. Some of the tea seeds were given to the priest Mayoi Shonen and became the basis for Yuji tea, the oldest tea specialty and speciality book in Japan. Um, How to Stay Healthy by Drinking Tea was written by Esai. Uh, don't care. All right. The two-volume book was written in 1211 after his second and last visit to China. The first sentence sentences state uh, sentence states tea is the ultimate mental and medicinal remedy and was the has the ability to make one's life more full and complete. Green tea became a staple among culture Japanese people in Japan, a brew for the gentry and the Buddhist priesthood alike. Oh. In 1738, Soen Nata Nagatani, holy crap, <sighs> anyone who's from Japan, please do not yell at me, <laughs> literally roasted tea, which is an unfermented form of green tea. It is the most popular form of tea in Japan today. In 1835, Kahai Yamamoto developed uh, Geokuro, literally Juldu, by uh, shading tea trees during the weeks of leading up to harvest. At the end of Maije period, eight which is 1868 to 1912, machine machine manufacturing of green tea was introduced and began replacing the handmade tea. Okay. In Korea, the first historical record documenting the offering of tea to an ancestral god describes a rite in the year 661 in which a tea offering was made to the spirit of King Soro, uh, the founder of the Gaia Kingdom. I can't say the first part of that. Records from the Goryeo Dynasty show that tea offerings were made in Buddhist temples to the spirits of revered monks. Stoneware was common, ceramic more frequent, mostly made in provincial kilns with porcelain, rare imperial porcelain with dragons, the rarest. The earliest kinds of tea used in tea ceremonies were heavily pressed cakes of black tea, the equivalent of aged uh, pudera tea, still popular in China. However, importation of tea plants by Buddhist monks brought a more delicate series of tea into Korea. And the tea ceremony. Alright, moving on. Vietnam. Vietnamese t green teas have been largely unknown outside of the mainland Asia until president, present day. Recent free enterprise initiatives are introducing the, these green teas to outside countries through new export activities. Some specialities Vietnamese teas include lotus tea and jasmine tea. Vietnam also produces black and oolong teas in lesser quantities. Vietnamese teas are produced in many areas that have been known for tea house retreats. For example, some are located amidst immense tea forests of the Lam Dung Highlands where there are where there is a community of ancient Ruong houses built at the end of the 18th century. Global expansion. The earliest record of tea in a more occidental writing is said to be found in the statement of an Arabian traveler that after the year 879, the main sources of revenue in Canton were the duties on salt and tea. Marco Polo records the deposition of a Chinese minister of finance in 1285 for his arbitrary augmentation of the tea taxes. Oh my god. Okay.
Moving on, because I don't want to read all that. Seems a little boring to me. Really? Why? Okay. Okay. We're just going to skip ahead a little because I don't want to be here all day. The first the United Kingdom, the first record of tea in English came from a letter written by Richard Wickham, uh, who ran an East India Company office in Japan, writing to a merchant in Macau rest requesting the best sort of cha in 1615. Peter Mundy, a uh, traveler and merchant who came across tea in Fujian in 1637 wrote cha only water with a kind of herb boiled into it. Um, in 15, I mean 1657, Thomas Garway, a tobacconist and coffee man, was the first to sell tea in London at his house in Exchange Alley, charging between 16 to 50 shillings per pound. Um, the same year tea was listed as an item in the price list in a London coffee house and the first advertisement for tea appeared in 1658. On 25th September 1660, Samuel Pepys recorded in his diary, I did, I did send for a cup of tea, a China drink, of which I never had drank before. It is probable that early imports were smuggled via Amsterdam or through sailors arriving on eastern boats. The marriage of King Charles II in 1662 to the Portuguese princess Catherine of Braganza also brought the tea drinking habit to court. Official trade of tea began in 1664 with an import of only two pound, two ounces for, for presentation to the king but grew to 24 million pounds a year by 1801. <sighs> really? Stop that. Okay, we're going to skip ahead to the United States. While co coffee is far more popular, hot brewed black tea is enjoyed both with meals and as a refreshment by much of the population. Similarly, iced tea is consumed throughout. In the southern states, sweet tea, sweetened with large amounts of sugar or an artificial sweetener, and chilled is the fashion. Outside the south, sweet tea is sometimes found, but primarily because of cultural migration and commercialization. Uh, the drinking of tea in the United States was largely influenced by the passage, passage of the Tea Act and its subsequent protest during the American Revolution. Tea consumption sharply decreased in America during and after the Revolution when many Americans switched from drinking tea to drinking coffee, considering tea drinking to be unpatriotic. The American speciality tea market quadrupled in the years from 1993 to 2008, now being worth $6.8 billion a year. Similar to the trend of, of better coffee and better wines, this tremendous increase was partly due to, to, consum uh, to consumers who chose to trade up. Speciality tea houses and retailers also, also started to pop up during this period. All right, Canadians. Canadians were big tea drinkers from the days of British colonization until the Second World War when they began drinking more coffee like their American neighbors to the south. During the 1990s, Canadians began or begun to purchase more specialty teas instead of coffee. A commercial tea farm was opened on Vancouver Island in British Columbia in 2010 and expects production to start in 2015. Australia. The Aboriginal Aboriginal, excuse me, Australians drink an infusion from the plant species uh, Leptospermum, a different plant from the tea plant or Camilla Sin... Sin yeah, I'm not even going to bother to read that. Why did they make this shit up? Upon discovering Australia, Captain Cook noticed the Abor Aboriginal peoples drinking it and called it tea. Today, the plant is referred to as the tea tree or Thai tree, excuse me, T-I, that's how it's spelled. Through colonization by the British, tea was introduced to Australia. In fact, tea was aboard the first fleet in 1788. Tea is a large part of modern Australia culture due to its British origins. 
Australians drink tea and have afternoon tea and morning tea, much the way the British do. Occasionally, due to Australia's climate, tea is able to be grown and produced in northern Australia. In 2000, Australia consumed 14,000 tons of tea annually. Tea production in Australia remains very small and is primarily in northern South Wales and Queensland. Uh, most tea produced in Australia is black, although there are small quantities of green tea produced in the Alpine Valleys region of Victoria. In 1884, the Cutton Brothers established the first commercial tea plantation in Australia in Bingle Bay in northern Queensland. In 1883, Alfred Bush Bushel opened the first tea shop in Australia in present-day Queensland. In 1899, Bushnell's, Bushel's sons moved the enterprise to Sydney and began selling tea commercially. <coughs> founding Australia's first commercial tea seller, Bushel's Company. And there you have it. That is the history of tea. Um... Uh, again, I will leave the link in the description below. Hopefully you guys have no problem with this whatsoever. And I will see you guys next time. Blessed be.